Hi guys, this is a DSG gearbox oil change, 6 speed DSG gearbox. First, you remove this out. So, just remove the airflow sensor, this vacuum pipe, put that on the side. This was already out, yeah. Someone, someone put it at the gearbox toy. Then you might have here extra bits. Just lift up the airbox. <coughs> lift up the airbox. And this gives us space for filter, which is right there. So there is a filter. Just put the rug around, just so when you remove the filter you catch some oil. Just check inside or any file or something, clean it later. You can just leave a filter there to drain while you're doing on the job on the bottom. So you took off the car, remove the plastic cover on the bottom, then you use Allen Key 14. 40 mil. Open it. Put the tray here. Find the washer there. So this rice there's no water. There's no there's no oil, but that's normal because there is other other plastic bit. 8 mm eight millimeter socket inside. That should be my hand tighten. There's no need to tighten it strongly. Plastic, level, level plastic. Nice no, not. Well, let's check to see if there are any metal filing or something. This one looks okay. This is low mileage gearbox. Second part, let's go. So connect the drum, put the brake. And then you should try to fill up oil when it's in the level. So while it's raining down, you can basically put the top. You can filter together with a truck. So no spillage. It's an old filter, you just leave it there in front of you. Because you want to compare with new one. Here's a new one. Here's the other. Sounds good going. Just want to compare the size. Okay, that's the same. So, then we just check how it looks there inside. Where is your oil? Where filter goes? Lubricate a bit this. Just put some fresh oil on O-ring and it starts growing in. Just put it back.
just park them there and then clean off. After tightening the fuse right in there and clean everything. Just wipe some rug, some cloth. And that's it. We are done on the top. So it's possible without removing the battery to do it. The top is done, now we're doing on the bottom. We're putting back this tube. Just make sure make sure it's clean. It's plastic so you don't need to tighten it with a ratchet or anything. If you really want, you can use ratchet but just like this. Just touch it a bit and that's it. My electric pump is broken, so I will do it. This hand pump, I have some oil inside. This is about 500 milliliter capacity, so I will need to do about 10 times. So when you come about four four and a half liters, a bit more, you fill up and then you try to pull back, so it's pulling oil back, it means it's full, put a little bit more and you can basically leave this here, leave it as it is and start the engine, you need to start the engine and let warm up on 35 degrees gearbox, you are checking temperature in VCDS. engine is running and now there is it needs more fluid remember your car needs to be in level Leave it like that, connect to the diagnostic VCDS or any other. So you're looking for temperature in gearbox, 35 to 45 degrees, we have now 35, but we will wait about 40 degrees. Here we go, it's ready to be checked for level. So you can remove this. That's, that's all. Pull around. That's about the gearbox oil change. Then. Uh, if you like, if you have time, you should perform the gearbox calibration. Hmm. And that's all. We put back all stuff on the top and plastic on the bottom. That's, thanks for watching.